All right, I'm I'm gonna give Spark Mandrel one more shot. Oh, if I, thought, I thought, freaking what? I thought you scrapped the other episodes. I did, but um, spoilers! I am terrible at Spark Mandrill. All right. So, in case in case the other episode thing. Oh, by the way, this is Danimals Brian, aka Brian and Nets. Journeyman Dance. Dance. Yep. And Hi, we have I'm the. Here too. Huh? Hi, I'm here too. Hi, Kelsey. These guys are do. dicks. <clears throat> this game is hard for me and Dan. This but it's breezy for me. Yeah. Anyway, uh. So. Um. Spark Mandrel is also known as Lightning King of the Bullet Fist. That's because... really his title? Yes. From what? What source? Where are you getting these? Uh, Maverick Rex. That's kind of Drop. like a tagline for him. All, all these characters have taglines. And he comes from the 17th... Huh? Those things are weird. Not the ostrich thing, the things that fucking fly at us. Oh, yeah. Uh, so... He comes from the, uh, 17th Battalion, uh, which is... You know, the same as Axe. He, he possesses incredible strength and power. Uh, uh, I cannot speak. Powerful electrical attacks. Uh, but he's not really smart. That's the big thing about Spark Mandrill. Uh, in fact, basically, his whole story about how he ends up getting involved with Sigma was basically Hey, um, join my. Join my rebellion. Ah, <laughs> freaking mid boss! Yeah, this is about the same as whenever I try to play a Mega Man game. But yeah, uh, so basically, uh, Spark Mantrol just bl blindly followed, uh, Sigma because he's his superior. Well then. Yeah. But. Oh, I know Spark is a stupid one. Yep. Surprisingly stupider than freaking uh, Flame Mammoth, who I'll, who we'll get to way later. I like to believe that they're best buddies. And thankfully, we won't have to deal with any of the flame obstacles in this stage because thanks to to Vance being chill penguin first, his stage is frozen over. Why didn't I go to Flame Mammoth first? Because then it would be on fire. No, why didn't I go to Flame Mammoth instead of Spark Mandrel? Ah, I got a friggin' girl! <laughs> <coughs> no, I didn't realize that it would be frozen over, or you forgot. And plus, I uh, entirely he... did. You know what's funny? So the normal order is with Chill Penguin. I always start with Flame Mammoth. So, like, I think it's because, like, his, uh, strategy is kind of basic. You literally jumped into that. <laughs> you were just like, okay, Death, take me now. <laughs> <laughs> I've already taken so much damage. Just help! Yeah, it's... I don't know what it is, if it's just like we have bad reaction time, if we just... I want to go back to playing Kirby <laughs> Superstar. Like, I don't know what it is in this game, like, because your gameplay is very similar to mine, I don't know if we're just jumpy as heck, if we don't have good reaction times, if there's somehow too much on screen for us to react to, even Ow. though there's not a lot of Yeah, thanks, I could see that times. coming. Who designed this dang stage?! It's something about these games that makes it hard for us. <clears throat> I think it's I think it's more of the fact that you need to. Uh... No! <laughs> that we need what? Um, a little bit of forethought, and you need to pay attention to the animations of your enemies. Okay, flame mammoth. <laughs> Let's, Let's go try, try a different stage, shall we? Let's try a stage that should hopefully be significantly easier now that 
the environmental effects are in play. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, the factory is no longer functional, at least not properly. Yep. Crap, sorry, I'm trying to find the, uh... Like, oh, there's a lot of these things that I know by, by, must, by memory, but then there's, like, things that I'm like, uh, I don't remember at all. So, which is why I consult my phone. What the? Uh, Gra floating grabby things in Mega Man games are always evil. Never trust them. Flame Mammoth. Okay. So, here's Flame Mammoth. Uh, what is he known as? Uh, hey, it's those guys from Mega Man 1. Mm-hmm. Ah. Uh, yep. And also just Mario Brothers. There are quite a few games that you take throwing at these yep. arms. That are so... <clears throat> Flame Mammoth is also known as the Fiery Oil Tanker. Okay. Uh, he is the leader of the 4th uh, Land Battalion. Flame Mammoth used to be stationed in the middle of the east. Don't you laugh hearing at me, you dick! Uh, hearing of Sigma's rebellion, he dreamt of getting an even tighter grasp of his own potential power and of going on a violent rampage. He's a psychopath, basically. Oh, no! How was, what? So, how was he allowed to actually be a hunter? Mm, I, I believe it was kind of like an internal thing. I got an E-Tank. So basically he just did a really good job of hiding it until Sigma was like, Hey, I'm doing this rebellion thing. Wanna join? Yep. Is there snacks? Well, you bet. <laughs> I'm in. Yep. He enjoys crushing and, humiliate and humiliating anyone weaker than himself. And was, oh. ha yeah, uh, and was hated by the Reploids who served under him. This is I'm what... Guessing that after, I'm guessing after this... Psych tests were employed. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping at least, because that's kind of a major thing to like let pass. Yeah. By the way, you know those uh, you know those little enemies right there that are just like barely functioning. Yeah. Yeah. That's his own. That's his own battalion trying to escape. Dang it! Jesus Christ. Mhm. Mm that's dark. Yep. Why most of. Uh, most of his, uh, most of his battalion actually ran away, but some of them remained, and more was forced to remain. Ha so, ha, Miss Joe. Yep, and irregardless whether or not they serve him or not, they meet an inevitable, ine uh, inevitable death by uh, getting crushed. That's terrible. Yep, this guy's yeah. a psychopath. I hate him. Which is kind well, of it's going. Good thing I'm gonna friggin' blow him up. Amazed that he managed to keep it under wraps for so long and still remain a hunter. Because wow, hmm? that's I kind think of this... major. I think I, I think... actually made it. <laughs> yep. I... This is okay. This guy's kind of easy for me. He does. He does, however, have a lot of health. That's the big thing about him. Basically, your best friends are the walls and uh, what's it called? And your charge shot. But also make sure when he j before he jumps that high, go to what? the other side. Because if he jumps and you're yeah, it's happens. basically it's basically like Guts Man from Mega Man One. Yeah. That's why I always go for this guy first. Oh jeez. You also have to be careful of the hitboxes. At least you what you reached this checkpoint. Yeah, but I I kind of came in there with little low health anyway. Yeah, you got this. You got this, buddy. I think. I hope. This it's guy is not weak to chill, penguin, down. is he? This would be much harder if you hadn't gone after chill penguin first, I think, because wouldn't the wouldn't there also be flames in the arena? No, not in the arena. The arena is always like. This. It's the it's just it's just the stage that has magma. Oh, okay. Oh good! If he's off stage, I can't hurt him! Basically what what you're thinking of is when he is when he shoots oil out of his uh, schnoz. Or his uh, trunk, whatever you call it. Schnoz is a decent word. Okay. 
Basically, he shoots oil out of it, and then okay. he, and then he, uh... You really need better timing for all dashing. Bots. Yeah, you also need to learn not to get hit, so and then you can collect more energy tanks. I am not good at Mega Man's. <laughs> neither of us are, don't worry. I am! <laughs> I said neither of us, I wasn't talking about you. Oh, okay. I thought you said all of us, so... No, silly. What did I you think of that Mega Man, uh, Mega Man S thing I sent you? Hmm? Freaking... No, I sent it to Brian. Oh. Oh, the Mega Man X thing? 20 XDX. Oh, that, uh... It looks fine. It's just like another Mega Man clone thing. Cool. I mean, my problem is I play so much of those things that, like... I don't know. It's just not the same. Oh, jeez. The... Yeah, just... got... GO got... AWAY! You, you He's gotta awesome get... go oh, away, buddy. dude. He always jumps towards you. Yeah. You can't just wait for him to go away by sitting on the wall. That's not how his AI is programmed. Oh, but... What the dick?! You almost had him, though. That was good progress. I thought I had more iframes than that. But yeah, Flame Nana's AI isn't programmed to actually jump away from you at any point. At least at some point, I think when he's like midway through the room or like something triggers it, he does that little taunt animation. That changes the orientation of the freaking floor. Um, does it? Yeah, it does. Oh yeah. It usually looks like he does it when he's like, like halfway through the room. I hate how you can't hit him when he he's half freaking off the screen. Well, that I don't think that oh was my possible until later X games. Well, dance. All right. I, I won't. I want you to try the stage again because I think I feel like you could get it. Um, the big thing. The big thing you have to remember is that. Dash jumping, your best friend. When you're on the ground, don't try to attack him. Just book it to the other side of the wall, and then keep charge shotting him. And then when he gets closer, go up to the highest point, jump to the other side, and repeat. Hello! Once you have that, you have that pattern down, you're pretty much solid. Yeah. That says the one who doesn't even play Mega Man Gates because they're too fucking hard for her. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just teaching you my tactic because again, this is actually, again, my tradition, my traditional. Uh, I said this at least five times already. Yes, Brian you start with flame and mim. And go, Brian is crazy and goes for flame mammoth with the flames on first. But yep. hey, at least he's not absolutely batshit insane and goes for flame uh, no, launch octopus first. I yeah. think that the first time I tried this game, I went for uh, sting chameleon first. Oh, oh <laughs> I actually made it to him. I didn't beat him. Wow. Kudos. Kudos. I'm like, yeah, this isn't Octopus that bad. What the dick? Honestly, the launch octopus are like, I think, two of the hardest ones in the game. Yeah. Especially Sting Chameleon, because God, he's fucking stage. Honestly, this is my, this is just my personal opinion. Uh. The characters I have the most- the bosses I usually have the most trouble with is, uh, Sting Chameleon and Boomerang and Kowanger. Yeah. Kowanger can also be kind of a problem. Mm. I don't remember if the stage was a bitch, but Kowanger himself can be problematic. Yeah. But, like, uh... Everyone else has sort of a piece of cake? I say sort of because... Like... Hmm... I have died a few times with Storm Eagle because he pushed me off. Because ah. Storm Eagle is a bitch like that? Yeah. But, uh, there's actually two reasons why I start with, uh, fight. Well, three reasons, actually. One, because I actually find the method of beating him at Buster only very fun and simple. Uh, two, I want to 
uh, take care of probably the most despicable of the uh, of these uh, renegade Maverick Hunters first, uh, and lastly because I want to fight Storm Eagle last. Uh, he hadn't changed his direction yet when I thought he had. Oops. Yeah, well, again, then. again, just. I know what I'm. I, I think I have an idea of what I'm doing. Okay. Do you know what those things in the background are? I'm just curious. Uh, I don't know. I know one of them in the furnace. You see, right here, this is where you would try to go for the other side. Too early. Oh, don't change direction now! You want to do it Freaking like, geez. on the ground? Yeah. Remember, you can shoot That's from the walls, too. I know you I can, can shoot from the walls, but gosh! The wall is your best friend in he this He jumps fight. like a mile! At least I can get to Flame Mammoth. Freaking yeah, Spark Mandrel. His stage isn't that problematic, especially when it's iced. Which is probably why a lot of people go for Shield Penguin first, aside from the obvious fact that he's pretty damn easy. Oh, don't change it back! Okay, never mind. I actually have no idea about Flame Mammoth's AI. Sometimes he's Woo! just like random as fuck. There you go. You know what also might help? Farming for E tanks next time you're on the field. If you don't beat them here. Yeah. Oh, Dr. Fuck! Oh, that time oh, could not have been worse. I'm sorry, that man. Bad luck. He's gonna jump like a freaking mile. Come on oh, over, you, you doofus! Got yeah, yes, flame yeah. mammoth! Yeah. Buster yeah. only! <laughs> Too bad. Too bad you basically just killed the uh, the guy whose weakness is the guy that you already killed. Grand. <laughs> Who do, does Flame Mammoth affect any other stage? Um, I forget. I thought he affected Spark Mandel stage, or am I thinking something else? But dude, that weapon is actually going to be very helpful against uh, the 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 mid boss. <sighs> Storm Eagle. <laughs> no. No, I think that ought to do. No, no. Uh, dude, 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 dude. What? Don't go to Storm Eagle yet. Of course not, I'm not going to Storm Eagle. I'm going to go to somewhere else next time on Mega Man X. Oh boy. What have I got what have I gotten myself into? <laughs> Something terrible? See you next time, folks. <laughs>